Hello, Potato, and welcome to Weekend Magic for October the 5th, 2024. We're in October now, which means it is officially spooky season, which is naturally why both LEGO and DisneyStore.com have been busting out the Christmas stuff all week long. LEGO released the new Winter Village set and a little truck to it. It's a, it's a Santa's post office. It's a little uh, hot air balloon with it. It looks pretty cute. I am not a huge fan of these, uh, what I call the fantasy sets, which tend to be the ones that are focused on basically the North Pole, Santa's Workshop, the Elf Clubhouse, the Gingerbread House, just because the, the Santa's Visit section of my Winter Village is getting a little overgrown. It's starting to dominate the Winter Village. And it seems like every other year now they release one of these kind of fantasy themed sets as opposed to like last year's Alpine Lodge, where it's something that kind of fits more into the plainer, more mundane reality of the Winter Village. They also released the new Poinsettia and Wreath Botanical sets. So there's lots of, lots of holiday stuff for you uh, to get out there in time for the winter holidays. Meanwhile, over at DisneyStore.com, just in time for them to have added bats to the logo, they have released a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. A lot of it is stuff that looks like the same things that they've been selling at Hallmark. The like the things that you stick into your tree to turn it into Stitch or Jack Skellington. Um, lots of like Jim Shore little statues. A fair amount of Christmassy stuff just in time for, you know, for Halloween. And uh, don't worry, I mean, we are going to end up with some of that stuff too, but we're not there yet. It, it's spooky season. It's the happy haunt hunt. We are not going to look at Christmas stuff. We've we've acquired some. Let's be clear, we've acquired some already. Uh, I've even got one of the advent calendars for our notoriously unpopular advent calendar videos that we'll be doing mostly, well, most of December. I mean, obviously all December, but, you know, really the 26th to the 31st, there's not advent calendar stuff because Christmas is over. But while I have no intention of looking at Christmas stuff here on the channel until after Halloween, it is, we, we are accruing some already. So last week we looked at the big Costco Mickey jack-o'-lantern with light and music and I had to do that side because it was way too big to fit in here easily. I mean, I, I would have had trouble getting it in the frame of the camera on this space. And I believe last week I commented that, you know, there are also ones at DisneyStore.com, there are ones at Kohl's, and I wasn't sure if having finally found the Costco version, after having basically given up on it, if that would trigger us to perhaps buy some of the others. And well, the answer is yes. My wife did order some from DisneyStore.com. She ordered, uh, I believe this is a Mickey and a Minnie. She's checked them out. I have not. Uh, I don't know what all they're supposed to do. I'm guessing light up. I don't know if they play music or not. But I will say, I think these ones were like 30 each. And while I was surprised at how large the Costco one was, I am similarly surprised at how small these ones are for 30 bucks a pop. But let's check them out. It's product number BG633 and BG628. You might think they'd be sequential, being Mickey and Minnie, but no, no, they are not. Let's check them out. They are, well, they're definitely made out of different stuff. They feel like they're made out of a thicker, more rubbery plastic. We have, uh, oh, I guess that wasn't supposed to come off yet. So there's Mickey. I'm gonna say, I think the one, I feel like the one from last week looked a little bit more like the park version, like the one in the park. Not, not to say like, I'm sure they're selling these in the park. I'm, I have no doubt of that. Uh, I just, the one that's like in the ads for the park. Here's Minnie, I'll take off her paper as well, I guess, while we're at it. They are cute. I don't know, 30 bucks though. Does seem a bit. So they do have timers. Any information on here? I don't really want to break the seal on it. So I guess not, I guess. We won't know if there's any information or not. They have a Mickey and Minnie. These are, I believe the small ones. And again, I think they were $30 each. They also had, I believe, medium and large ones for, I think, like 50 and uh, I think the large ones may have been about the same price as the Costco one. I have no idea how big they actually are. But they are definitely cute. They're made, they feel uh, sturdier than the Costco one. The Costco one felt, was a very, like, very firm plastic. These feel like they have 
not a lot of give, but they feel more vinyl-y. They feel a little bit softer. They don't have any give to them like vinyl, but... Well, the ears a little bit. Very little bit of flex here. But they feel a little more... A little more, um... Resilient than the Costco one. Let's pull the tab and... So it looks like you can have them go for... What does that say? 10 minutes or 60 minutes? All right, well, let's... I'm assuming that plastic tab though, means it must have batteries in it. So let's give it a try. Disney Store Limited. Queen Carol Street, London. Well, that's interesting. Also mentions the Netherlands, but it is still made in China. So fear not. And is that on? Uh, I think we, oh, oh, there it goes. That's weird. Okay. Huh. I suppose if I'd read the instructions, I might have known it was going to do that. That is a very interesting way of turning them on, isn't it? I mean, somewhat reminiscent of that calcifer candle we looked at a couple weeks ago. But, uh... Well, let's kill some lights and get a, get a look at them in their full glory. Alright, there we are in the dark now. So they do... I mean, I really couldn't get a view last week of the big one because it was morning and... I really can't make the outside any darker than it is. But, uh, oh, it looks like Madame Leto needs new batteries again, doesn't she? Anyways, anyway, sorry, distracting. So, yeah, they, they do light up very nice and bright. Uh, I'm going to say brighter than the big one. However, they light up entirely, not just through the eyes like they're being lit like a jack lantern. So it's, uh, and you can change them to red. Well, apparently Mickey only goes... Oh, there we go. Now Minnie's red. I don't know, that's... kind of a weird color for them. So there are four settings. I guess it's like an orange. I guess it's probably supposed to be yellow. Well, that looks, definitely looks better on Minnie with that one, unless it's not the same mode. What should, which turn to next? See, that looks more like this. Maybe Mickey's just like a thicker plastic? Because, yeah, her next one is off. So, that's... See, that looks the same. But then, mode two... Looks about the same again. And then, part three... She looks more yellowy. It could just be the LEDs in them. And then in the fourth mode... That wasn't her fourth mode. Four. Yeah, she looks more yellowy. Yeah, it's weird that she's brighter on that particular mode than Mickey is. So do they do anything different on that other mode? I think it's just how long they stay on. Again, I could read the instructions, and I would know for sure. It's kind of a shame they don't have... A mode where this kind of like cycle through. It really does only seem to work if you tap it on the model, like tapping on the top. Oh, there we go. Now, now it does. It didn't. It at least didn't feel like it was doing it before. It's weird. Do you have to like kind of shock them to make them come on and off? But okay. But I guess it's kind of like with that other one where you had that six hours on, 18 hours off thing. If you're putting it somewhere that you can't necessarily easily, you know, access it. Maybe that's good. I wonder if, can, can you, can we like, because that one came on when I hit that one. What if I like, can we like clap? No. I thought maybe that would be enough percussion if you hit the table. It seems that Mini is more sensitive. I mean, that's, that wouldn't be a super ideal way of turning them on, like, on a shelf, though, would it? So you still need to, like, hit them. I don't know. I mean, they're definitely cute. 
I do like that they are, they do feel more durable than the big one. Definitely easier to find a place for them in your house or on your desk or your dining room table or whatever. But I, I do wish they had, like, I wish they did a little more, like the, the lights would cycle or something. That would definitely be cooler. But they're cute, they're well sculpted. Let's we'll turn the lights back on. So yeah, they're well sculpted, certainly. Nice paint job. I don't see any like paint bleed or anything. Minnie's bow gives a sort of a almost a, a little bit of a bat vibe to it. Again, it has a little a little color bleed along the seam of the bow. But to the back, you're not really going to see that. Front looks good. Again, nicely sculpted, nicely molded. Just kind of a weird, uh, weird control scheme. Uh, maybe a little, a little pricey for what you get. For Thirty bucks. I think they actually, I think they're on sale right now for like, I think fifty for both, or at least they were earlier this week. Fifty for both. I don't know if that's still going or not. So twenty-five bucks a piece. Ah, uh, maybe more like it. But they're cute. I don't know if they're gonna go with the big jack lantern, not just because there is such a massive size disparity between these and the Costco one. Maybe if we find some of the. Cole's ones, which I think are somewhere in between the two, maybe uh, together they'll create like an interesting progression. But these would be good for like just, you know, coffee table, dining room table, shelf. These are, I think, more of an indoor display item than uh, the Costco one. I mean, I think the Costco one is specifically says it's indoors, indoor only. But I mean, you would, like, wouldn't want to leave it on your front lawn for the whole season. But these feel like more like they're just going to just kind of go somewhere in your living room or your office or something for spooky season. They're very cute. They're nicely made. Uh, they do have multiple color modes, which is nice. Gives it kind of more of that like really orangey, orangey look. You know, when I was a, when I was a kid, I grew up in the Bay Area, and all the pumpkins down there were always very, very faintly orange. When I moved up north more, I was always surprised. At least initially I was surprised at how much more orange the pumpkins were. They were like vividly orange because I'd always kind of grown up with these like pale pumpkins, I guess because it came from like Half Moon Bay or whatever. And uh, they're they're just paler from there. But yeah, cute. I, I'm going to say I think a little overpriced for what you get. They don't make any noise. For, you know, which really is, is probably a good thing because, I'm, I, you know, first thing I did with the Costco one was turn the sound off. So that's probably a good thing. But I do wish they had maybe a flicker mode or, I mean, I actually, ideally a flicker mode. That's one thing I really liked in the Cows for Candles. It had a nice flicker effect to it. A flicker would have been nice. Uh, but even like your standard kind of mood light, you know, cycle through the colors, you know, like the head over here does. Would have been pretty cool but they are cute I, I can't i cannot deny that i just do feel like 30 bucks a pop is maybe maybe a little much for them but they are here now and they definitely are a very different thing than that big costco thing but they're cute in their own little special way and they're all i have for you this week two little tiny jack i mean actually i have other stuff but that's all we're going to look at this week so what do you think? Do you have these? What do you think about them? Have you picked up any of the bigger ones? Are they substantially different other than just being larger? Do they do other things? Different lights? Let me know in the comments. Do you think 30 a piece is maybe a little much for these? Again, let me know in the comments. But I do hope you found this video at all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I do thank you for watching it, and I'll see you in the next video.